Good morning. The lighting, I don't like the lighting. I'm never liking the lighting. Um, it is, I can't even see. It's Wednesday, July 5th. It's 10, 13 in the morning. Um, yesterday was the 4th of July. I went to the battery with my friend and her friend. Cool time, cool time. So I'm about to do this workout. I do mad fit workouts. This is a low impact full body. I want to work out every day for at least 30 minutes. Let me stretch, let me stretch real quick. Because yes, I'm skinny, but my body is going to change and I want to be toned. I've always said that and I don't really be seeing a difference in my body when I work out, but I wanna try. Um, oh my god. I'm going to let this play over, but anyway, so plan for today is I have a dentist appointment. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have some I have a dentist appointment and then some pre-work stuff that I want to um, kind of talk to y'all about my morning was already a little thrown off because somebody was calling me from work I called them first and she didn't answer and she called me back and then we we I thought we settled it and then she called me again but I wasn't in here so I texted her because I'm like are you trying to call me or did you call me on accident because we settled it so I texted her because I'm not gonna call you back because I'm trying to enjoy my morning I just went and made some iced coffee that I showed y'all the recipe for but I just made i made it but i don't have my proportions right so it was a little bit too much so i poured some of it out but then i poured too much out and then i was like well, i'm going to the dentist anyway and y'all know coffee stains your teeth so um once i finish this workout and i get dressed i already showered last night i'm actually wearing you can see i'm just wearing a black top some gray joggers and some sandals because it's hot and i still have to finish unpacking today and it's Wednesday, so I may go, no, I'm not going to say I may. I'm going to go to the skating rink. It's Wednesday. Might as well. I was going to wait till Sunday, but I have work Monday, and I don't want to be out late on my day before work. You feel me? So let's do this workout. I'm, oh, and last thing, y'all, I am very tired. So I went out with my friend yesterday, went to the battery in Atlanta, uh, and it was cool. And I wanted to go because... It was the 4th of July, and I had already asked her last week, if you come to Atlanta and do something, let me know, and I'll come. But, I did a lot yesterday. I didn't take a nap. I, what did I do? I mean, I did some work on the computer, which is can be very draining. I did some editing, and I didn't get a nap. Went to a family member's house, had a little cookout, um, and I guess my social battery was just drained. So that by the time I went to the battery, you know, it was cool. But after sitting there at the restaurant for, you know, over an hour, I was ready to go. And they didn't want to leave until 11. It was 10, it was, it was 10, 15. I'm, I'm leaving at 10, 30. Cause I started, I was starting to space out. Like I wasn't even talking to nobody anymore cause I was so tired and spaced out. But I didn't want to kill the vibe by being like, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about when I'm going to leave. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm cool. I'm just spaced out. And then I, I left at 10, 30 and I made it home by 11. But my friend and her friends weren't leaving until 11. That's why it's important that I was so grateful that I was able to drive my own car, have my own form of transportation. Because in those college days, going places with friends or associates or catching a ride with somebody, you don't leave until they leave, girl, and they don't be on your time. But I was so drained, got back here, hung out with my brother for a little bit. And I have my alarm set for 6.30 every morning to get ready for my work schedule. And I be turning it off. I don't snooze it, I just turn it off. And I mean, I got up at like 8.30, so I can already feel myself getting tired. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I need to do about that. I don't know if I should take melatonin, <sighs> energy vitamins, no, those don't really help. Maybe I need a better nap routine. We'll see. I was thinking how crazy it is, how much time we spend in our cars. A lot, a lot of content, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be in my car. If I just need to talk to y'all in the mornings, when I'm vlogging, or on the way home from wherever I am. I mean, y'all know I do a lot of my chats in the car anyway. It's always quiet, it's just me. Um, you know, hands free. 
Um, I'm, we're not going to talk about yesterday, but we will say that I didn't really get much done that was on my to-do list. Something popped up, but in the end, it turned out fine. I got everything straightened out. So I didn't really get much done. I did work out, but I didn't finish the workouts. I did edit a video for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. But I didn't do the other stuff on my list. So right now, I'm actually headed to lunch. It's 11.20, so I'm headed to lunch at tw it starts at 12 with a few of my work friends and then or I should say colleagues, I guess. And then I realized, you know, I still have stuff to do. And I didn't want to just come straight home. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the traffic for me or whatever this is. I didn't want to just come straight home because clearly when I'm home in this season or right now, nothing's really getting done. So usually when I want to do work, I go to a Starbucks, or a Barnes and Noble or a coffee shop. I mean, Atlanta has a lot of eclectic coffee shops. Starbucks I haven't been to in a while, I'm not gonna lie, to do work. Barnes and Noble, there aren't that many in Atlanta, but I went there recently. All I have to say is it's hot. It's hot, okay? Thermometer says 96 degrees. I just got done eating lunch. It was cool um, We're at this diner I'm still in the parking lot and it was crowded. We, we came right at lunchtime It was crowded, but cute You know nothing wrong with a little crowd um, What am I about to do so I want to go to a coffee shop I'm gonna look it up and see how far it's gonna take me to get there. I am I'm exhausted now I'm only gonna stay for one hour. And if I actually do work for one hour, I can get a lot done. And it's Thursday too, so for it to have been, you know, crowded, we were talking about that, how, you know, people just work from home now. Everything's work from home, work from the restaurant, just virtual, hybrid. Nobody's in an office. Even though it is lunchtime, Nobody is at work. <laughs> um, and it's summer. So, you know, kids and stuff. But, okay, yeah, it's, it's really hot. This is my first time at this diner. Super cute. Kind of reminds me of IHOP. But just more options. Alrighty, so I decided to drive down the street to a different coffee shop. Cause I was not feeling it in the other one. And I think from here I'm gonna get a little snack, work for about an hour, and then I'll go home and regroup. Alrighty, hello guys. So today was a pretty chill day. I did go to a Starbucks and just kinda chill. I was supposed to have a phone call, but that didn't even work out. I went grocery shopping at Aldi. Very, very, minimal amount of stuff okay but i'm gonna show y'all what i got i'm probably gonna have to put those in the um oh my wallet's in here that's good to know all right so i really did not do much today i went to the coffee shop and kind of just hung out and then i went Grocery shopping at Aldi. Just got a few pick-me-ups because I'm starting work in just a few days on Monday. And I plan on taking my own lunch. And these are healthy options. Alrighty, so I would consider today just a break. Like, I needed a break today. But I'm, I've been using my travel size my cellar water. But I have a full version that I should probably be using. So I, my brain is moving so fast today, or like right now, but the reason is though the sink is really cluttered, but I want to film a get, get on ready with me, wind down, short or real, short form content since that seems to be just the vibe right now. So I'm gonna film it on my iPhone, but, 
So this is my tripod, but it should not be moving like that. These things are whatever. So if I put it, I don't think it's gonna fit. Y'all can't see, but I don't think it's, I don't think, well, okay. How do I get this part to stay? I hate that. I almost have to move this out the way. I don't like the angle. Okay, where did I put the others? Oh, I'm zoom in. The only thing cinematic, it won't zoom in. A normal video not gonna look right. Yo, what? This is so weird, cause I can't see what that looks like. I need it to be cinematic. Okay. So I have it in cinematic mode. I'm testing right now to see if this is the right, if this is a good angle. Mm -hmm. They won't be able to see my bathroom wallpaper. <laughs> anyway, I do start my corporate job in pretty much two days and I've been having some thoughts about it. I think it's just one of those things that it's a new season, a new chapter. And usually whenever I go into a new chapter, I always am a little bit anxious and I think it's just the uncertainty, but I think I'm the most positive about this season. It's kind of, in my mind, my last season. I mean, as a student, I just got my master's and I'm moving into my career in the corporate world working. So it's no more of this unknown as it relates to being a student, but I guess more as it relates to being an adult in the workforce. And I, that's just something that always wondered what my life would be like what it would look like when I got to this age when I got to this point in my life and I'm really happy with where I am I'm really grateful for my support system everyone has been so supportive and encouraging and inspiring I'm talking about people that I know in real life family friends relatives just everyone about my life my journey my career journey and I'm not scared going into this season I am excited but when I went, did my summer internship, I moved to California and I was very excited for that. Just happy to move somewhere else. It was the West Coast, the beach, great weather. I'm still here in Atlanta, no shade to Atlanta, but I, I, know, I know Atlanta, I grew up here, I'm from here. And so I'm more excited in the sense of ready to show all that I know, show all that I've worked hard for. I'm not in that classroom environment. There's no need to be scared or worried about grades or tests or papers or how my grades are comparing to those of my classmates. It's just all about showing what I know and really being authentic. I know it sounds very corny, but it's true. And I'm ready to also learn because I believe there's always something to learn. You have to be a lifelong learner. And I'm basically gonna be a sponge these next couple months, really absorbing. So, you know, I'm organized with my journals and how I'm going to be taking notes and also making sure that I'm retaining everything I'm learning and making sure I'm not just learning it for that moment, but retaining it so I can apply it in the future. I always envision this phase of my life, me having, you know, a good network, mentors, things of that nature. And so that's something that I'm working on actively and presently on creating. And it feels almost surreal to that I'm gonna be stepping into this next journey. I never could have predicted this, but it does feel right. And I'm just really, really excited to be in the corporate world. It sounds so weird, but I think it's right. It's right, it fits. And y'all stay tuned and I'll see y'all.